So, Mortal Kombat 11 was revealed, so much is known, but still we have too many questions that need to be answered. Those who try get impaled. They were not me, Baraka. First of all, I'd like to address the issue of Noob Saibot and Sub-Zero. As the title states, MK11 Sub-Zero is actually Bihan, the original Sub-Zero also known as Noob Saibot after he was resurrected by the necromancer Quan Chi. Now, how do I know this, you might ask? Well, it was revealed in the interaction dialogue between Sub-Zero and Raiden. Take a listen. Do you recall being a revenant? I recall being Quan Chi's slave. Let us purge that memory. So we know that Kui Liang, the younger Sub-Zero, was never a Revenant and had nothing to do with Quan Chi, not in MK9 and definitely not in MKX. In fact, he even made a peace treaty with Scorpion. On the other hand, Bihan, the older Sub-Zero, was resurrected by the necromancer Quan Chi and he even stated that serving him suited his purpose when he met his cyberized brother for the first time. Now Bihan is back and he's back in his original human form. Some of you might ask how this came about. Well, in MK11, there is a new character called Kronika, who's the keeper of time, and since things didn't play out exactly the way she foresaw for the Mortal Kombat universe, she decides to rewind the time back to the beginning and reset everything. This might sound crazy to many, but in this new timeline, Bihan is still the normal human Sub-Zero, and Noob Saibot isn't even in existence yet. Why? Because Noob Saibot is simply the dead version of the original Sub-Zero, and since he's alive, well, there is no Noob Saibot. Therefore, the conclusion is that Noob Saibot as the dark mysterious entity that we knew in MK9 won't be in MK11. However, he might be featured in future installments if he gets killed by Scorpion and resurrected by Quan Chi once again like it happened in the old timeline, which will make things even more confusing. And talking about timelines, I would dare to say that Kronika saved the entire Mortal Kombat franchise. Let me explain how. If you didn't know, up to MKX, there are two existing timelines, the original timeline and the current timeline, and they both are contradictory in many ways. In one timeline, for instance, we have Liu Kang getting killed by the Deadly Alliance, and in the other, we have him being killed by the Thunder God Raiden. So which one truly happened? And I'm giving you an example of one scenario only, which is the death of Liu Kang. To be honest, there's so much confusion going on with these timelines, and even I myself had difficulties trying to gather information that made sense for my top 10 videos. So I really hope that with the time being reset by Kronika, this will put things back in order not only for the Mortal Kombat universe and for the characters, but also for us, the players. You should thank me. Changed you. So let me guys know what you think about Kronika and her decision to reset the entire timeline. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.